to turn over to Mr. William Johnson because he has a few words to share. Miigwech. Uh, in 2013, I recited uh, these words, and uh, we're going to honor the students again. Often, the veil of hurt and shame conceals our identity as Anishinaabe people. Sinful silence is common and has been accepted as our inheritance due to physical pain and confusion. Too often, we shun decency and neglect the privilege of our birthright to live as the Creator intended. It is through love that we will prosper. Only by direct confrontation will we find peace in our hearts again. Let us be brave as our contemptuous adversary becomes our friend to forgive. May kind nurturing pave the way for our future. Never will we hold our children beneath our consideration. And by honoring them, we respect the sacred circle of life and reclaim it as our own. The spirit of the Anishinaabe people never left the students as they endured a new way of life. Today, that same spirit resounds with the promise that they'll never be forgotten. The youth. Miigwech Willie. Remembering the deceased today will be read the names by representatives of the Saginaw Indian Tribe Youth Council. We have with us male co-chief Magizi Wemogwans. Female co-chief Jasmine Jackson and fellow youth council members Quincy Jackson, Josiah Wamagwantz, and Aliyah Montoya Figo. I will turn it over to you. Let's give them a round of applause for this today. Isaac Bird, Peter Adams, Anna Jackson, Sarah Adams, Jay Harrington, Mercy Hall. Willie Jackson, Joseph Bennett, Elsie Bradley, Joseph Chippewa, Grace Nottawa, Lizzie Screw, Edward Messinger, Grace Silas, Joseph Hartley. Emma Redford, Samuel Shore, Shah, Win William Windegas, Eddie Winnie, Lou Jackson Jr., Jacob Mangan, Alexander Shah. Edward Andrew. Anna Finity. Jace Corbin. Effie Shabuz. Lyman Elk. Peter Elfish. Maz Lyon. Peter Eggleston. Anna Pontiac. Emma Bill, Samuel Foster, 
Sarah Watson. Edward Green. Esther Ed. Otto. Martha Silas. Jesse Chatfield. Victoria Fitzek. Katie Bl Bradley. Emma Williams. Louis the Wash. Jenny V. Grew. Uh, Janice Kagidev. John Pontiac. Or Pontiac. Robert Passion. Alice Chickum. James Jackson. Joseph Solomon. Jenny Bennett. David Williams. Ida Johnson. Joseph Pontiac. Amelia Battis. Oh, Ida Chipnis. Lyman Jackson. Blanche Fellows. Cecilia Rapp. Edward Chinnick. Jane Pontiac. Annabelle Lemaguas. Louis Strong, John Chippewa, Thomas Dykstra, Ulysses Pelcher, Mary Bolta, Mary Stone, William Thompson, Daniel Strong, Nancy Bennett, Ida Bolton, Rosa Elk, Henry Gilbo, Noah Henry, James Hamlin. Louis Mellon. Bessie Iron. Emma Thompson. Esther Solomon. Andrew Thompson. John Thomas. Mary Corbin. Roland Paul. Alma Paul, Francis Shaka, Eddie Pigo, oh, Jenny Corbin, Mary Pelcher, Dina Gannon, Eli Wheaton, Daniel Thompson, Teresa Chosa, William Winchester. William Patisse Bailey, Robert March, Mary Williams, Joseph Gravel, Janet Thompson, Elijah Jackson, Wesley Moses, oh, Wesley Peters, Shelly Bennett. Elizabeth Adams. Adam Paul. Lottie Membero. Memberto. David Keyway Klaus. Alice Walker. Richard Foster. Sam Samson Williams. Lena Hitawa. Maggie Foster. Oscar Wayward. Daniel Rosa. Naomi Pelcher. Clara Fisher. Rachel Collins. Charlie Nixon. Ida James Fisher. Julia Bailey. Rose O'Demon, Lucille Chippewa, Joseph Chippewa, Allison Peters, Denison Pelcher, Lena Elk, Bertha Wheaton, Flossie Jackson Blackbeard, Clara Collins, 
Fred Foster, Colin Moses, Isaac Ashquap, Lena Odo, Edward Jackson, Eileen Kay, William Corbin, Nancy Bennett, Thelma Peters, Eva May Chapman, Wayno Shannon, Daniel Thompson, Joseph William, Wallington Pelcher, Theodore Jackson, Edward Novin, Mary Bowen, Clarence Medavis, Loggers Collin, William Oswin, Blanche Bennett, Helen Andrews, Mary Shawakin, Louis Joseph, Celias Hart, Zula Fisher, Frederick Fisher, Regina Fisher, Henry Thompson, Henry Pigo, David LaPointe, Elsie Gertrude Dudek, Myron Gordon, Rhoda Collins, Leona Sagan, Charlotte Watson, Isaiah Walker, David Thompson, Lucy King, Mary Ann Newton, Bessie Brown, Martha Tadgasson, Joe Alexander, Wilson Johnson, Dennis Dutton, Charles Saganabi, Jenny Rapp, Rebecca Shakoff, Sarah Shakoff, Wallace Shakoff, Agnes Dunn, Elizabeth Rapp, Joseph Ayak, Grace Dutton, William Westbrook, Angeline Johnson, Victoria Rapp, Frank Dutton, Maya Francis, Albert Francis, George Williams, Jose Adams, Edward Andrews, Martha Kuhn, Grace Peters, Esther Sophie, Agnes Agosa, Elsie Agosa, John Fransway, Elizabeth Otto, Luis Augusta, Harry Pesci, Charles Augusta, Augusta, Eliza Pano, Joseph Bennett, Elizabeth Augusta, Lucy Jackson Davis, Rose Joseph Sampson, Sarah Williams, Pearl Fisher, Grace Huntley, Ida Andrews, Jesse Kagiga, Elizabeth Thompson, Mary Williams, Isaac Mix, Raymond Chatfield, Amos Williams, Amelia Johnson, Barney Pontiac, Maggie Cummings, Ida Rose, Isaac Ashwa. All right, and a Chima Gwetch to our Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe Youth Council. Let's give them a round of applause.
talk about those names, the MIDS administrative records reported only five deaths throughout the 41-year history. The Zebra Wing Center research team has discovered more than those 227 deaths utilizing their news, newspaper articles on microfilm, county death records, and other historical documents. The search for more souls continues and for their final resting places. And we give a chima to our staff there to continue to honor and look for those that lost their lives here at the boarding school. If I could now turn it back over to our Mineral Day drum, I would ask that everybody please stand. We're going to have an honor song in remembrance of all those who lost their lives and all those who attended here at the boarding school. And this is brought to us by our Saginaw Chippewa Academy student drum with the help of the Mineral Day. So when you guys are ready, we'll take it over and you guys can provide us with an honor song. appreciate everyone being here this morning as we celebrate uh, this uh, with this event once again this year. Uh, it's one of those events that we can really talk about the, the culture and how important it is. And it's my distinct priv pr privilege and honor to introduce to you our tribal chief, Ron Electall, to come up and say a few words about the importance and the support for this event. So please help me in welcoming Chief Ron Electall. everybody. Uh, welcome. I'm honored to be here in this place addressing all of you. Uh, before I get too far into my speech, I want to take some time to thank our partners and our supporters. Uh, miigwech to the Gun Lake Tribe of Potawatomi and the Pokagon Band of Potawatomi for their monetary donations and the donations of their time today. I would also like to thank any other tribal nation for their participation in today's event and the donation of their time. I want to give our veterans, our Gitchida groups in attendance, some recognition and say chi miigwech for you, for your past and continued support with this event. <laughs> Lastly, miigwech to our partners at Central Michigan University and the City of Mount Pleasant for the working relationship we have built and your recognition of the significance of this place. 
The National Park Service under the U.S. Department of Interior notified the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe that it listed the former Mount Pleasant Industrial Boarding School on the National Register of Historic Places. The keeper of the National Register listed the property on February 28, 2018. The National Register of Historic Places is the official list of the nation's historic places worthy of preservation. Under the National Historic Preservation Act of 1966, the National Register of Historic Places is part of a national program to coordinate and support public and private efforts to identify, evaluate, and protect America's historic and archeological resources. The former Mount Pleasant Indian Industrial Boarding School is the sixth property here in Isabella County to be given this distinction since 1974. So this day and this event is an important one as it recognizes the difficult circumstances that happened here. We honor those who attended this school, those families who had children attend this school and those children and families who attended this schools like this around the country. This site is historic and serves as a reminder that we as indigenous people of this land were treated like strangers in our own home. Children were taken from their families and forced to live here and forget about those cultural and spiritual values of their ancestors. Some of those children did not return home, and that is why we are here honoring them. The intent of this school was to force them into losing their language, their spirituality, and their family values. We come together to let the spirits of those lost see that their people still hold on to those cultural and spiritual teachings today. While we honor those who attended and endured the hardships of this place, we also have to remember the healing aspects of it. We see the trauma created by this dark period in our history still today. Identity issues amongst our people, issues with addiction, abuse, and more importantly, a lack of love and affection. This was not a place of development and nurturing, but a place to kill the Indian and save the man. While it is important to remember those hardships, it's also important that we continue to strive for a better future. We must continue to recognize the challenges of our past, but also remember to not let it hold us back. Each day brings new challenges and new opportunities. We must rise to meet those and continue to make our ancestors proud to be Anishinaabe as they were not given that chance. It makes me proud to see our culture, our language, and our spirituality celebrated and strong amongst our people, from the little babies to the elders who's kept those traditions alive. May we not forget where we came from, and may we continue to thrive as tribal people. Miigwech to you all for being here. Miigwech to the Zeebwing staff and the MIBS committee for hosting such a powerful event for us all today. Enjoy this beautiful day and this time of healing. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Eckel, some powerful words, and uh, we appreciate you welcoming us here today. It's my pleasure to help welcome Dr. Michael Gelt, the Executive Vice President of the Provost Office from Central Michigan University. So if you could, please help me in welcoming Dr. Gelt. Thank you, thank you, and, and good morning. I bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Trustees, the President, President Ross, the faculty, the students, and the staff of Central Michigan University. We're honored and privileged to be with you for this important ceremony. Today we gather to honor, heal, and remember the children who perished at this school, as well as the children who survived the terrible injustices that attempted to rob them of their culture and their language. When our partners at the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe first organized the Journey to Forgiveness Walk nearly a decade ago, many members of our CMU and Mount Pleasant communities participated. That compassionate act by the tribal community opened the doors for healing to begin. Since that time, our CMU students, under the leadership of Dr. Sarah Surface Evans, have had the privilege of working with the tribe to deepen our understanding of the school and its history. Using non-invasive methods, students have engaged in research at the school to learn about the lives of the former students. In turn, our students can share what they learn 
with others. For the benefit of our community, our state, our country, and our world, we must continue to share these stories. Together we can celebrate the richness of our cultural heritage and embrace our shared future. In 2016, this collaboration between the University and Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe was recognized with a Governor's Award for Historic Preservation. And earlier this year, as the Chief mentioned, after several years of work by the Tribe's Historic Preservation Office, the Mount Pleasant Indian Industrial Boarding School Committee and the CMU faculty, staff, and students, the United States National Parks Office listed this site on the National Registry of Historic Places. This site will now stand forever to serve as a monument to the resilience of the Native American people. We at Central Michigan University are proud to have played a role in this important achievement. CMU stands with you today to commemorate this historic moment and to celebrate the strength of a people, a culture, and a community. I would like to thank the members of the Tribal Council and the Tribal Elders for allowing us to be part of today's ceremony. We are grateful for the relationship we have and, we, and will continue to have with our Saginaw Chippewa Indian tribe brothers, sisters, neighbors, and friends. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Gelt. And as he echoes, it's, it's, we couldn't do this without our partners. We have a lot of community support here, uh, both with Central Michigan University and for our next speaker, the city of Mount Pleasant. Uh, they have been beneficial and uh, really have helped us in, in obtaining some of these recognitions and worked side by side with us, and we appreciate those open lines of communication. So it's my pleasure to welcome our next speaker, Allison Cross Lenz, Mayor of the City of Mount Pleasant. Please help me in welcoming her. Thank you all for having me here this afternoon. Um, I'm really honored and proud to be the mayor of the city of Mount Pleasant at a time when the relationship between CMU, the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe, and the city is so strong. Um, we have plans to continue this great relationship as good neighbors, as we both move forward with our plans for the property and as we work through the process of what to do with such an important historical site. I'm you know, honored today to, to be here and take part in these ceremonies and to see all of your youth and the children participating in this ceremony is really refreshing. But then when you hear the names of the children that were called, I was struck with, during the name reading that many of the names that are listed are obviously very English of origin names, the first names. There's a lot of Marys and Josephs and Davids which you can tell are probably not their original names. So not only were these students taken from their families and their culture, but we also took the names from these children um, and that identity was stolen from them. And it's really hard, especially when I come here with my own small, tiny human, to think about that process and to think about how horrifying that would have been to go through. And so we want to remember what happened so that we can learn from that and we can be better and we can be stronger and we can continue to grow in our partnerships and in our cooperation with one another. So thank you for having me here this afternoon and thank you for putting on such an important ceremony so that we can remember and can continue to heal from these tragedies. Thank you all. Thank you, Mayor. And I think to echo all those thoughts today is that we have this unity here. And it's not only from the folks we have up on stage, but it's from the community members that we have present today. It's from the groups of uh, representatives we have from other nations throughout the state of Michigan and from the region. Uh, it's from community members that we have here in Isabella County, those that travel over from Saginaw, uh, our satellite reservation, and all of those throughout the state of Michigan. So a big chief of watch to everyone here to help us celebrate, to help us remember, to help us heal today. So thank you, Chief Miigwech, and please help enjoy the day today. Um, 